Welcome, welcome, welcome to Shofar Blessings 52. It's always a good day to have a good day in the Lord because God is on the throne. He never changes. He's always the same. His unfailing love, his tender mercy, his loving kindness is for all eternity. God is always winning because he's on the throne for Israel. Israel is always will continue to win. They will always win because God is the favorite apple of his eye. That's the apple of the Father's eye, and we're here to celebrate the victories that Jerusalem keep on winning in despite of all the circumstances, in despite of all the lies and the false media they are spreading about the nation of Jerusalem. God is still showing themselves strong. Just recently, we know that Iran attacked Israel, but uh, 300 missiles were shot, and, but supernaturally, uh, they were taken out of the atmosphere and with the help of other nations as well which is an eye-opener. There are people that favor Israel despite, despite of what we see. And America did help, uh, I believe Saudi Arabia, Iran, uh, not Iran, uh, Iraq, um, Yemen, and Jordan also participated in the defeating the, uh, Iran's attack against Israel. But it's really the Lord is on the throne. It's him behind the scenes making himself strong. In Jesus' name. So we're going to get in some worship and pray about Jerusalem victory. Pray about the, the scriptures and what's going to happen to the wicked if they don't repent. Uh, just recently, we had um, eight days ago, they had a solar eclipse on the eighth day. But, uh, you know, the main focus to me is about, I mean, even though it's supernatural, even though it's something that God created about the eclipse, but the most important thing, I believe, is about when Jesus walked this earth 40 days after the resurrection. And we should focus more on what he did and, and, and look for his great, great coming again. You know, it was only eight days after that he walked through the walls and, and, and spoke to Thomas and put his hand in his side. And Thomas became a powerful believer. He was one of the apostles who went further than all of them. He went all the way to India. And, you know, we need that to get so, I would say, well, I hate to use the word bamboozled, but we got to keep our eyes on Jesus. All that he's done every season that he comes around to celebrate his resurrection and, and the time that he walked on this earth for 40 days and showed himself strong to so many people. Then he ascended up on high with the Father on the right hand side. Then he gave us a promise that he would send the comfort of the Holy Spirit who is with us today. In him we live and move and have our being. He's our living water. Out of our bellies flows rivers of living water that we'll never thirst again. So I'm going to give you some worship. And sound the show for and welcome my beautiful wife Nalila, the fragrance of a flower. And just and greet the blessings. People. God bless you. So so thankful that you tuned in with us today. Yeah. And like Tony said, we're gonna st we're standing with Israel. Yes. We continue to pray for Israel and lift Israel up. Glory to God. Amen. Israel is the apple of God's eye. And Israel is His forever. hand is on Israel. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And watch and see, see. the salvation see. of the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Ready?
Hallelujah. 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 God Glory to God. I'm going to sit down and enjoy the, the word of God. <clears throat> Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. Glory, to God. Glory to God. Well, like Tony said, we're going to lift up Israel and continue to stand with Israel. I hope a lot of you are actually keeping up what was really going on over there. You can't only listen to the mainstream media because the mainstream media doesn't give you information. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. But that's all right. Amen. God has made a way. Yes. Hallelujah. So, like I say, welcome to <clears> Show <throat> for Blessings 52. Such an honor to be living in this generation and, and seeing the prophecies of coming to pass from the prophets in the Old Testament and seeing things coming right in sync with the Word of God. You know, so I don't take it for granted. I don't take it for lightly. The Lord allow um, me personally to understand and and reach out and stay in an intimacy and relationship with the Father. Intimacy is the best place to be with God. That's the best protection you can get with God, man. Get into the intimate things of the Lord, close to his heart and worship, you know. Uh, I'm going to read some Psalms and, and a few things. Um, yeah, Psalms 1 talks about the righteous and the wicked. Blessed is the person who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law he meditates day and night. That's that meditation, that's that worship, that's that praise, that's getting that drawn close to the Father, and he will draw close to you. And it's a good time to do it at night, something about the night season. You know, something about that quietness when there ain't a bird flying in the sky and you just meditating on the Lord and thinking about the goodness and for me, that's when all the worship songs come to me, when that still, said, be still in no moment, you know, the aha, I learned that from my rabbi, the aha moment. It's an aha moment in the night season. It's so amazing. Uh, we all should tap into that and get strengthened by God. You wake up and the sun, seems like the sun is shining much brighter for you. The, the air feels much cleaner and you start noticing all the beautiful birds in the air and all kind of good stuff. Just recently, we, ha we have a tree in front of our house and man, it was, um, it was a, a sparrow, a, a squirrel, and a dove in front of our yard. And it was feed, my wife feeds them. They all sit down, they didn't have no problem about- what And they, the hummingbirds. And, and the hummingbirds <laughs> yeah, in front of our front yard. And it was so peaceful to see something like that. And they don't worry about nothing. They just, just love, they inhale the Father's air, they gave them wings to fly, and they got found, brings them food every day. You know, and they all are sharp. You can't touch them. They're so quick. I mean, God created them such an amazing technology that God created right before our eyes. And we're looking at what AI is doing. Look at what God already created in front of us. You know, but he's the divine intelligence, not no artificial intelligence. Amen. Anyway, let me go to this again. Um, and his law, and in his law, he'll meditate day and night. He would be like a tree planted by the streams of water which yields its fruit in its season, and the leaves does not wither. And whatever he does, he prospers. And whatsoever he does, he prospers. Amen. So want to prosper, get on your knees and worship God. I mean, that's the best prosperity. Get in the night season of God and prosper in prayer, prosper in drawing closer to the Father. You know, not the, I mean, the material things is good, but it's the spiritual thing. Whatsoever he does, so what about the spiritual things? Whatsoever we do together as one in the body, being a one new man, in him we live and move and have our being. That's true spiritual prosperity. It's getting to the presence of God. And when we cry out to him, he hears our prayers and he answers. We trust in God. He's a God that never fails. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So Amen. be it. Okay, this is number four. The wicked are not so. Woe to the wicked because they do not want to prosper spiritually with God. The wicked are not so, but they are like shaft which blow with the wind blows away, like whew, they gone. Therefore the wicked will not stand in judgment, nor sinners in the assemblies of the righteous. For the Lord knows the ways of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Woe to the wicked who don't repent. Amen. Uh, over here in C. You have something you want to share real quick? Sure. I'll read Psalm 11. Okay. When things are going on and like Israel is surrounded around all sides by enemy 
trying to attack and missiles coming at them, mm -hmm. you know, taking refuge in the Lord. Psalm 11, the Lord a refuge and defense. Yes. In the Lord, I take refuge. Mm -hmm. How can you say to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? Mm. For behold, the wicked bend the bow. They make ready their arrow upon the string to shoot in darkness at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. Mm. His eyes behold. His eyelids test the sons of men. Ooh. The Lord tests the righteous and the wicked. Wow. And the one who loves violence his soul hates. Mm. The one who loves Love violence, violence, his soul oh, hates. Back up to, uh, it said, and the Lord tests the righteous and the wicked. So we are being tested by the Most High. Yeah. That is something. But I'm, Woo. I was reading that about the yeah. one who loves violence, his soul hates. Hates, yeah. You don't want to be one who loves Love, violence. That's right. You don't want to get ensnared with that lie that's telling you that you're supposed to hate everyone. Mm -hmm. God is a God of love. God, is, God is not a God of hatred. That's right. It says, and the one who loves violence, his soul hates. <sighs> Upon the wicked, he will rain snares. Fire and brimstone and burning wind will be the portion of their cup. Mm. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteousness. righteousness. The upright will behold his face. The I want to behold the, the face of the friend. Father. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's so beautiful, sweetie. Right, we should, well, let me read something. I'm going to read Psalms 3. <laughs> Psalms 3, 7. It says, Arise, Lord, save me, my God, for you have struck all my enemies on the cheek. You have shattered the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. May your blessings be upon your people, Selah. Hallelujah. I, I put something in there when I, and it said, you shattered the teeth of the wicked. And this is me. This is what I, just, what I did one night. I said, let their tongues get stuck to the root of their mouth when their teeth get shattered by the Lord. That's me. That's <laughs> my decree. And my Praise decree against those who want to. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. I'll, I'll read one more. I'll okay. read Psalms 12. Psalms 12. It says, God, a helper against the treacherous. Mm. There is a lot of treachery going on right now. Mm -hmm. It almost sounds like something out of an old cartoon. I remember Rocky and Bo me going, yeah, yeah <laughs> Boris and Natasha. Boy and Natasha. You know? <laughs> Your old, old cartoon. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were from Lord, the... Lord, take me back to the old cartoon. There days. is so much right. going on right now. You're like, Lord, what's going yeah. on? How all this evil coming together against God's righteous, mm -hmm. against God's anointed against those that love God and against God, against the kingdom of God. Yeah. But listen, God, a helper against the treacherous. Mm. Help, Lord, for the godly man ceases to be. For the faithful disappear from among the sons of men. Mm -hmm. They speak falsehood to one another with flattering lips and with a double heart they speak. Yeah. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips. Yeah. The tongue that speaks great things. Mm -hmm. Who have said with our tongue, we will prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? Because of the devastation of the afflicted, because of the groaning of the needy, now I will arise, says the Lord. I will set him in the safety for which he longs. Wow. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace, on the earth refined seven times. Man. You, O oh Lord, will keep them. You will preserve him from this generation forever. Yes. The wicked strut about on every side when vileness is exalted mm. among the sons of men. Yeah. Look at a time like this Amen. when vileness is being exalted mm. above the sons of men. 
Amen. When righteousness is being called evil and evil is being called Amen. righteous. Yes. Hallelujah. Right. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. That you're a helper against treacherousness. Yes. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Amen. Yeah, I have, I want to read Psalm 7. Uh, Psalm 7, I'm going to go to the sixth verse. It says, uh, Arise, Lord, in your anger. Raise yourself against the ra rages of my enemy and stir yourself for me. For you have ordered judgment. Let the assembly of the people encompass you and return on a high over it. The Lord will judge peoples. Vindicate me, Lord, according to my righteousness and my integrity that is in me. Please let the evil of the wicked come to an end, but establish the righteousness. Hallelujah. For the righteousness of God puts hearts and mind to the test. I'm going to read that again. Psalms 9, 7, verse 9. Please let the evil of the wicked come to an end, but establish the righteousness. For the righteousness of God puts hearts and minds to the test. My shield is with God, who saved the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge, and God shows indignation every day. So I'm talking about if one don't Hallelujah. repent. I'm going to go with this. Now, if one does not repent, he will sharpen his sword. Say it again. If one does not repent, he will sharpen his sword. In other words, it's going to hop. You know, sharpen the sword is, is making it ready to do something, right? He has bent his bow and taken aim if one does not repent. He has prepared deadly weapons for himself if one does not repent. Good time to repent. It's a time to <laughs> repent. Good time to repent. Good time to repent. If you've been on the wrong side of the Lord, yes. it's a good time, time to, to repent. He, Glory to right. God. He make his arrows <clears throat> a fiery shaft and said, behold, an evil person is pregnant. An evil person is pregnant with injustice. Can you imagine you're so evil, you get a belly full of injustice, looking like a big old nine month walking around and look like, I ain't going to say Buddha, but anyway, I ain't going to say <clears throat> uh, Behold, an evil person is pregnant with injustice and he conceives all harm and give birth to lies. Boy, the who do you know who God was giving birth to lies? We got leadership in this world and in our country is pregnant with injustice. They're doing, they're conceiving harm to people, coming up with creative and witty stuff to kill humanity with all kind of wrong kind of chemicals in your body, shooting stuff in the air where innocent babies come out of the womb, got to breathe that stuff, and they end up with problems. You know, I'm talking about the stuff they shoot in the air. That's, that's evil. That's, and you conceive and harm to people. You know, I'm talking about here in America and throughout the world. He said, behold, an evil person is pregnant with injustice and he conceives harm and give birth to lies. People are always giving birth to lies. They can't give birth to truth because they, they are the father of lies. That's why they give birth to lies. He has dug a pit, hollowed it, and has fallen into the hole which he had made. It's like, it reminds me of what happened with the tunnels over there in uh, Hamas was building. They got in those tunnels and they bore. They didn't know they were digging their grave. They didn't know they were digging their own captivity. They didn't know they were going to be running through them tunnels trying to get away. And they're still running. Amen. That's another story. And God is good. He has dug a pit and has fallen it out. He has fallen into the hole which he has made. His harm will return on his own head. <laughs> his harm will return on his own head because he has conceived harm that give birth to lies. In other words, those who dig a pit of wickedness, they will reap the fruits of their own wickedness. Amen. And his violence will descend on top of his own head. And they're getting bombs all over the place, you know, and they trying to get Israel to stop. But Israel is still pushing through, you know, because this is something that we never seen before in the history of Israel, which will be, I think, 75 years next month. Uh, they've been fighting this war over, I think it's 189, maybe close to 190 days, you know, and continue to pray. But when you read these scriptures, this God will tell you what's going to happen to those who come against the apple of his eye. Amen. So uh, let me see. And I will give thanks 
to the Lord according to his righteousness. This is what I love about the word. You can see how God would judge somebody, but God always bring you back to worship in the Father. Stay close to him and worship, draw close to it. Even because it's not the desires of the Father to kill, to wipe out the wicked. The thing is the wicked will repent, turn from their wicked ways. But he all, in the scriptures, you'll follow through Psalms. Even when David was inspired to write this by, by the Holy, presence of the Holy Spirit, it always give thanks. But I will give thanks to the Lord according to his righteousness. And I will sing praises to the name of the Lord Most High Adonai. That's the whole purpose of all this, but you got to stay focused on the Lord. Praise God for walking the 40 days after the resurrection. Sing songs to Jesus. You know, there's a scripture over in, um, I think it's in Zechariah, that Jesus come and rejoice over you with, song, with joy and singing. I think it's Zechariah 14, something like that. It's re rehearsing in the congregation of the midst. He's there, you know. And I believe, in, you know, supernatural increase in, uh, visitation for people in the body of Christ. This is the season we, we need to draw closer to the Father like never before. And look at the beauty of his creation and, and win people to be a light shining in the darkness. If the Lord leads you to share the gospel with somebody or pray with someone, um, and do it. You know, wherever you go, everywhere you go, we should be a light in the kingdom of God, our Father and our Savior. Amen? Amen. Yes. Amen. You have something you want to share? Well, you talked about praying for Israel. Yeah, okay. And so, Yeah, I'm going to go to the piano then. I'm, okay. Well, praise Please. God. Okay. Let me say this, if, if you're out there and you've never made the Lord, Lord of your life, or if you find yourself on the wrong side, standing against God and against the kingdom of God, and you recognize where you are, know that you weren't created for such. The Bible said that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever Amen. believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. God loves you, and he wants you to have eternal life and live in eternity with him. He sent his only begotten son, Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshua HaMashiach, hallelujah, to lay down his life for you, who willingly gave his life. They didn't take his life. He laid his life down. The Bible, the word lets us know that he could have called legions of angels to his defense. He could have come down, but he was doing the will of the Father yes. for us. So won't you accept him today and what he's done for you? All you have to do is believe it with your heart and confess it with your mouth and you shall be saved. Glory to God. And then once you get saved, ask the Lord for the Holy Spirit, the precious Holy Spirit that will come in you and live in you, will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance that you have yes. need of. With the evidence of speaking in other tongues, all you got to do is ask. If you ask, he won't give you a, he said if a man asks, a, if a son asks his father for a fish, is he going to give him a scorpion? Of course not. Our Heavenly Father is so much better than we are. Praise God. All right, Tony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to go out. We want to continue to pray for Israel. Yes. Glory to God. Okay. Father, we just pray for Jerusalem according to your word, Father. Thank you that the you show yourself your second strong coming, Jesus. to Israel, Father. Thank you, Father, that you Thank show you, Lord Jesus. your mercy, your loving kindness. Thank God. you for your mercy. Your holy your compassion, God. Thank moving you. Moving throughout compassion. the land of Israel, God. Thank and those you, Lord. that don't know you as Lord and Savior, Father, we pray that you visit them in dreams and visions. That you touch their heart and show yourself Thank strong you, to Lord. them, Father. That you protect Thank the you, innocent Lord. children, Father God. Yes. Heal Father. the hurt, God. Heal the wounds, God. You are God of supernatural increase, God. Nothing is impossible that you can't do if we ask you in faith, Father. So, Father, we speak life. We speak healing. We speak life. We speak your protection, God. Stop we speak your angels, me, God, God uh, to be on assignment, Mercy. Lord. In our family Mercy and all of our loved ones throne. here in America, we pray for this nation, God. Let your mercy Surround us earth. with your blessings, O oh God. 
Surround us with your joy and your peace, my King and my God. To you alone are worthy of glory. You're worthy yes. of praise, Father. And there's no one so worthy, Father. No one so worthy like you, Father. Thank you, holy ancient of days. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy, God. Thank you for what was written in the book of life. Our Thank names, you. Father. Thank you, Father, for writing humanity's name Thank in you, the Lord. book of life, Father. Before we even Thank knew about it, we had to life. repent, Father. You've written our names in faith, and we thank, thank you, for Father. Giving us the we thank you, Father. We thank you, your King Majesty. You, King Majesty, your anointing reigns and rules over the hearts of men and every leader on this planet, God. We give you all the glory, King Majesty, worthy of glory and worthy of praise. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father, for continuing to have your hand upon Israel, yes, Lord. Father. We thank you and praise, praise you, Lord, you, for Jerusalem, the place of the Lord, second Lord, coming of, of, of the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, we thank you and praise you that no devil in hell can stop what you've already predestined and foreordained, Father. We give you praise. Jesus. We give you honor. We give you glory. In, in the matchless name of Jesus. Jesus. So Amen. We say, we say to the world and all the nations of the earth, come to Yahshua. Come to Jesus. He's the only true way to get out of all of this stuff is get your mind focused on the Most High God. He is the way, the truth, and the light. And that light is shining brighter every day. All you got to do is get into that intimacy with God and miracles will happen in your life. Amen? Amen. Release the sound of the show for us. to Jesus, Hallelujah. the light, the way of the most high God is his son. Come to Yeshua. Yes, Shabbat Shalom. Shofar blessing.